Hello friends of Earth, friends of Middle Earth. We have another Hit Machine Ecthelion. One versus one, this time it's Dwarfs for Hit Machine. Goblins for Bonito. Tough matchup for Goblins. But having said that, the Goblins with their Cave Bats, Tree Trolls. Tree Trolls will work. Uh, spiderlings can work very nicely obviously the cave bats being being very useful taking away the rally call debuffing the opponents can be very good hit machine again with uh, the two the two mines and the hall of warriors Benito with a four four farm star, a very economy based star, greedy star, you you might say, but um, it depends. You know, it depends on how your your opponent is going to come at you. If 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 you can get away with four farms or not. You know, if it was if it was a versus. Um, Men of the West hit machine would be one farm, one barrack, one sword, and goes straight down, straight towards Benito. Which which four farms would be would could be trouble trouble difficulty to to cope with. So he's going for the the spiderlings. So the spiderlings will will be able to chew through the guardians once once they show up. So yes, the four, 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 four tunnels into Spiderling Barracks. It's a Goblin Cave. It's going to start pushing out the units. Hit Machine not, not, um, not going for a forward mine shaft again, and the. To be honest, this is how I used to play. I didn't like putting a forward mine because you know if, if they see it, you lose the mine straight away, and you you potentially end up losing your builder as well. So it's kind of like, well, what's the point in risking putting a forward mine shaft? You know, and that could have been the case. He would have, he would have, uh, he would have um, sent 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 the builder and the mine shaft and run straight into to to the spiderlings which would have been would have been difficult would have been trouble so now now the uh, pike unit um, phalanx for hit machine Bit of a stalemate. Bit of a stalemate here. They're, they're uh, waiting for the fireworks to start. He's saying probably your elves because there's been no action yet. So he's, you know, elves usually start off. <laughs> Elves usually start off, you know, cautious, just just putting up their trees with their bows at the back. Heat machine says your elf. He says your elf. Neither are elf. That's correct. Not a dwarf. So is Benito finally gonna? He's finally gonna come down towards his opponent. Heat machine. Going for the forge works is one he gets battle wagons out. Battle wagons in the in the right hands can be can be such so effective and so difficult to deal with in the right hands. You know, battle wagons are something I never tried to uh, use for a very long time. I just preferred to go the mass troops. So they're finally seeing each other now. 
Is he going to do a bit of a... You know, I... Um, when I see Lings, I think of Archangel Otto, because... Otto always used to love his Lings, and even terrorising, terrorising people with Ling, Ling spam. So, Hit Machine with the rebuild on this forge, but he wasn't able to save it, but he, but he did get a battle wagon out, he did get a wagon out, so that's going to be, if he, if he uses this wagon correctly, you know, it, it can still be doing, it can still be well worth it despite losing the forge and also the fact that uh, the fact that hit machine has had to buy rebuild it means he hasn't got rally call he hasn't got heal so it's not as uh, it would be useful to have those things but he doesn't have them so benito c collecting four and a half power points and uh hit machine you could argue collecting four power points, so so slightly in favour for Benito. But as I said, Hit Machine now does not ha he doesn't have the uh, rally call to use. Benito now getting a troll out, cave troll picks up the tree. These links are just, they're just going to eat, they're just going to eat these, uh, garden, these, um, guardians. But this, as I say, this wagon can do a lot of damage. The pike's protecting, protecting the, the wagon from, you know, mass, mass, uh, links chewing on that wagon. Now, see the bats, the cave bats, they're just devastating, you know, that they debuff they debuff the opponent and the trolls can just come in and the, and just smash smash all the, 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 the dwarven units to, to, to bits smash them to pieces but the, the problem is when when goblins do not have their back cave bats right and then 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 they're weak then they're weak so it's it's making sure when you use your cave bats you know getting making sure you do a lot of damage when you've got the cave bats with you because if you try to fight a dwarf without your cave bats and the dwarf is rallied as well you know you're going to be uh, it's going to be really difficult for you but there doesn't seem to be a hit machine doesn't seem to have much hour at the moment Hit machine fires the uh, the oil barrel, burns up burns up quite a few goblins. Now hit machine has tried to do something very very unorthodox. He's making men of Dale for the dwarf, which is uh, you know you just never see them. I never make these. Never in a million years do I make them because they they're not that very good, but. He's trying to fire the black arrows onto the. He's trying to fire the black arrows onto the, onto the cave trolls to stun them, and to knock them down. And you know, perhaps um, in this matchup, perhaps in this matchup, Men of Dale could work nicely the against, uh, against the, the goblins, the goblin spam. They'll get shut down quite nicely. Hit machine um, Benito now with the spider riders. So if he if, if these things are unprotected, the, the spider riders are just going to go straight through them. Benito must have collected the signal fire while I wasn't looking. Hit machine wants he wants another battle wagon. He wants another battle wagon. He's he's uh, he's 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 Benito throwing goblins again as I mentioned before it's, it's usually uh, not something that's uh, done it's against the code of conduct the gentleman's code of conduct so this uh, this this wagon should be should chase down these riders really should be chasing them down 
The Black Arrow's working very nicely against the, the Goblin Troll, mate. Maybe, maybe they got both of them. Now, this is interesting. Now, this is something you don't see. Spider Rider bows versus the Men of Dale. Okay. Benito summons the Wild Men. They're going to make short work of all, all of these troops, unfortunately. For Hit Machine. Going to make short work of them in indeed. Absolutely, you chop, chopped everything up to pe into pieces there. So we've got 13 points collected for for Nito, and we've got about 11 points collected for Hit Machine. So things slightly in favour. Slightly in favour for Benito, and he's got slightly more command points. 675 command points versus, was it 575 command points? Gather some axes, I must say, in all my years of uh, what, playing uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2, I've never really seen some seen Spider Rider bows facing off against uh, Men of Dale. Another wagon comes out for Hit Machine. Some two level two farms for Hit Machine. Also two level, quite a few actually. Four, five, six, six. Is that seven? That may well, may even be seven level two farms for Benito. Benito deciding he wants another five point power, so he's taken the land. You know, and a, a, probably a good choice, really, because land is very, very powerful power. And he was able to prop, take down structures that were on that land. Both wagons still alive though for Hit Machine, which is which is very good. Hit Machine losing, you know, he's, he's down to just one level 2 farm now. Just the one for Hit Machine, where as we've said before, seven, six or seven for, for Benito. Now the reason why I think wagons can be so devastating is because they can, you know, they can continue to, uh, you know, uh, they can, can, they can kill units while not not being lost. So you know, it's like once you've invested in them, if you, if you if you're smart with them, you just won't lose them. You just won't lose them. So they can keep keep accumulating kills, really. We've got one here that's uh, almost level five. A huge, quite a huge, well, not a huge force, but but a force that can cause Benito problems if he doesn't if he doesn't address it. You know, he's making the cave trolls now. He probably wants, you know, he probably does want a uh, tree troll to to smash these guys up. Outcome, outcome the goblins to try to save this tunnel. I don't think they were necessary though, because with the with the cave bats here, they just they just wasn't the damage. Is the tunnel going to start popping on the wagon? It was. So that was a good. So as soon as Benito had the opportunity to to start shooting the wagon with with the with the tunnel, he did so. Troll, that troll out is going to be useful. Right, spider riders are going to be useful because he's getting around the back. He's getting around the back, and he's a, uh, you know, is that the what he's looking? He's having a look where he can put his wild men. He must see the wagon. He thinks there's no point in me dropping. Them. If I drop my wild men here, the wagon's going to run right over me. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to have to save save the wild men. I 
think this is turning into a very nice game. I wonder, is Benito saving for that Drogoth? You know, he's had a huge economy for so long and there's been no heroes. There we go. There, There is the Drogoth. I was wondering what, why it was looking so... Starting to look... One side. Drogoth will, will one-shot both these wagons. Both gone. Drogoth devastating against uh, 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 wagons. Absolutely devastating. So if with both with both of uh, hit machines, was there a third wagon? Okay, so he's still got one wagon left. So Benito with the two level three tunnels and one level two tunnel. We just look at the command points. It's pretty. It's pretty even. There's not a whole lot in it. There goes the next one. But but the fact that he's got the dragon on on. The dragon's just going to be too devastating, I think. Now the war chant as well from Benito. You know, it's interesting because for years I've played Battle for Middle Earth 2, and I think it's always it's, it's usually been, you know, your five point power, your ten point power, your fifteen point power, and then you end the game with your twenty five point power. You know, the idea of taking lots of five point powers just isn't something we see but there we go kit machine can't stand up to it that's a win for benito thanks for watching